Hi guys, welcome to another vlog in my Florida series. Uh, so we're still in Miami. This is me just enjoying the sights of South Beach on bikes that we hired. And our plan today was to check out of the hotel and make our way to Volcano Bay, which is part of the Universal Resort. And this was a three and a half hour drive. So a Starbucks was a necessity for this road trip. We did have to hop on this bus when we arrived, so just be aware that it's not that easy to get in and out of the resort. This was about a five, 10 minute drive. So if you don't know what Volcano Bay is, it's a water park that opened in 2017, part of the Universal Group, and it's open all year because they heat the water in the winter. So that's a bit crazy. It was recommended that we hired a private cabana, which is here, and it is so overpriced. Please don't waste your money on this. We were very hidden away, and I would have preferred to be where the action was, where everybody was, a bit of atmosphere. And it was also really hard to grab a bartender to get drinks when we needed them. You get given this watch on arrival. So on rides with long wait times, you would go up to the ride with your watch, you would scan it, and then it would give you a time to come back so you don't have to queue, you can just walk straight on when it's your time. So that's a great idea. Although it looks beautiful weather here, it was actually the windiest day of our holiday. It was quite chilly. So I spent a lot of the morning sat with my cocktail with a towel wrapped around me trying to warm up and muster the courage to get on some rides knowing that i'm going to get wet and get even colder and then when i did finally get on some rides i obviously couldn't get any footage so enjoy this picture of us looking quite scared on cracker towel <laughs> So moving on to the next day now, it was Animal Kingdom time. Very excited about this. Go. Outside of the entrance, we got a great picture with Simba and Pumba. You can do this with your memory maker photo pass, which is an add on with your ticket. And then we walked in and saw the beautiful tree of life. We got some great pictures of it. Fun fact, it's not a real tree and it actually took 18 months just to finish the design of it. Wow. The dinosaur ride. So that was quite a scary ride for the kids, just bear in mind if you're going to take them on that. Um, so we left to Discovery Island and made our way to a Bugs Life show, which I got no footage. This is the only footage I got of this, but it's a 3D show where you kind of feel rats running underneath your feet and wind and rain and things like that. And um, our niece didn't like that. She really did not like that and wanted to leave. So they left. And then after that, we went on this Jurassic Park ride, which is a really good log flume with a huge drop. with their surroundings. They can be so difficult to see sometimes they burn themselves and nickname the ghost of the forest. And over also known as an upside down tree because it looks like it has roots coming from its mountain zebras. This is the only zebra species with a dew lap, little flap of skin that hangs down from their neck. They also have smaller hooves than other zebra species. And these are Maasai giraffe. They get their name from the region of Africa where they're found. When giraffes are first born, they're only about six feet tall. Fully grown adults are 18 to 20 feet tall. Working on eating like high beta carotene. When flamingos are first born, they're not pink at all, they're pale gray. 
And it takes a couple of years of eating that brine shrimp before they get all of their pink color. He is the one that defends the territory and protects any cubs that there may be. While the lionesses are the ones that do the hunting at night. Lions are nocturnal. They weigh upwards of about 5,000 pounds and can charge at about... Even though ostriches are birds, they're far too heavy to be capable of flight, but they can run about 40 miles an hour. And some ostrich eggs there with that one ostrich. Each egg weighs about three pounds. It's equal to about two dozen chicken eggs. So after that incredible jungle safari, we came and watched, I think it's called A Celebration of the Lion King and Friends. This was a great show, really enjoyed this. So after that, we made our way to Flight of Passage, which is the Avatar virtual reality headset ride, which was absolutely mind blowing. I couldn't film it obviously because we have these headsets on, but wow, it was incredible. And this what I'm filming now is just this amazing sculpture that they've made um, within the Avatar land. It's incredible. It just doesn't do it justice on this video. We got some amazing photos of this day and this is definitely up there with one of my most favourite days in Florida. It's just such a cool place, Animal Kingdom, with the safaris and the shows and the rides. It's just a perfect recipe, I think, for a really good day. If you go to Florida, you must go to the Melting Pot. It is a chain restaurant. They can melt cheese for you in the middle of the table. They melt chocolate, that was our dessert. And also we had some tempura where we made our own. So we dipped it in the egg batter, the panko breadcrumbs, and then we had a, a pan of hot oil so that we could cook each piece ourselves. But you get to choose what type of cheese, they kind of do that for you. And then oh, look at this chocolate fondue. I mean, can you get better cheese and chocolate fondue in the same meal? I'm gonna end this vlog here, but don't forget to subscribe for next week's vlog. Thanks and see you later, bye.